Good morning from Big Sky Country. I'm Stacy, owner of Montana Used Bricks. And today I'm going to talk about how to locate stickered parts. I had somebody put that in the comments quite a while ago. They were asking how to distinguish or find sticker parts. And we have always done it kind of an old fashioned way where you're doing a lot of searching or looking through your own inventory if you knew you had it. But I watched a video a couple of weeks ago about Brickignize, which is now integrated with Brickstore. And I was going to do this video last week, but like I said, they did an update and the preview box was all black. They got that fixed the next day, but even though it was all black, I was able to do a ton of stickers last week. I was so excited because it was so easy, so slick, that I have been going around looking for stickered parts all week to put into inventory. So now we have quite a few new stickered parts in our inventory. Last night, I put together a screen capture of how to use Brick and Eyes, but also how to look for the sticker part if it's not coming up. I'm not familiar with it enough to know why some of them don't show up, but there were a few that I was looking for that did not come up, but I was able to use our old way of doing it and be able to find those. And I apologize for the audio on the capturing software. I have yet to find any kind of mic that works real well. I used my AirPods this time and it's a little bit better than me using the bulky headset, but not much. So I apologize for the audio ahead of time. <laughs> so let's get to it. Let's show you how to use Brickignize with the Brick Store. All right, you're going to start by opening up a new window in Brick Store and come up to Add Items. And you're going to see, let me just put this in part. You're going to see this little camera right here. And this is what you're going to be using to recognize parts. Once you click on that, it's going to bring up this dialog box. The nice thing is, is even if it comes up blurry, it is still going to catch your part. But you can either click the space bar or just click here. And it's thinking about it. And it's going to bring the part up right over here. And that's the part that I'm looking for. So I'm just going to go ahead and add that to my inventory. And it's as easy as that. And I was so impressed with how well this worked because I did this last weekend when their preview box was black. So when you were looking at this, this was all black and you couldn't see anything. But I was still just holding it up to the camera and just hitting my space bar because it wouldn't accept it any other way. And it was still coming up. And I had no idea if it was blurry, if the camera was seeing what I wanted it to see. But I think out of like maybe 40 or 50 stickered parts I put in, there were seven of them that couldn't be found and I'm not sure why. But I was able to do my other way of looking for sticker parts to find them and was able to get them into inventory. So the other way that we do this quite a bit is we will bring up BrickLink. This is our old way of doing it and I really hope I don't have to do it this way much <laughs> after having Brick and I's, but I would bring it up. But if you do want to look in BrickLink, all you have to do is type in the color of the part what it is and then you can either say with sticker or you could stay with pattern and it's going to bring up all of those parts in that color and that part and you can look through it that way and that's usually how we were doing it before if we couldn't find it in brick store because you can do a search if you know the part number. So if I was going to be working on tiles and I knew that on the tile there were stars, I could put stars and that's going to bring up all the tiles that have stars. So you could look for the size you're looking for and be able to find that specific sticker or pattern. Same thing works with words. 
So if I was looking for one of the police ones, that would bring up all the police tiles. It's not as fast, especially, you know, when you're trying to narrow it down. But if you could say, you know, white police or gold shield or something like that to help narrow down what you're looking for, that will help bring it up quite a bit. So if you just put badge in there, it's going to bring up all the ones that are badge. But if you put silver badge, it's going to narrow that down for you. So there are a lot of different ways to look for what you need, but I would highly recommend just using the Bricknize and looking for the stickered part you need. Like I said, I have been using this nonstop <laughs> since last weekend because it is just so easy to use. And my husband tried it with some torsos for the minifigs and he was really surprised at how well it picked the torso even though the camera seemed like it was a blurry picture it still picked the right torso i hope you found that helpful if you have any additional questions or have other things you would like to see or have me try or explain go ahead and put them in the comments below but that recognize like i said is so easy it's just show it to the camera, click, and you're done, and it's awesome. If you have any other ideas for videos, go ahead and put those in the comments as well. If you enjoyed this video, give it that thumbs up. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!